Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Apple Watch Universe here. And today I'll be showing you guys Watch OS 6 on the Apple Watch Series 3. And I don't want to hold you guys up too long, but if you guys are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button down below if you want the latest updates on your Apple devices and all Apple news. And let's get to these features. So, one of the first features I saw was in the activity app. Now, it's not exactly a redesign, but they did redesign a small portion of it, and that is not when you swipe here, but now when you swipe all the way to the right on the last slide, you can see all your awards from all the places. And if you guys are wondering if you can click on these, yes, you actually can. And you can actually spin them around too. So it'll tell you the description for it. I think that makes the Apple Watch way more independent. So the settings app got a whole entire new redesign. So I'm gonna go right to settings. And it's kinda like the iPhone settings app, more than the Apple Watch new settings app. And you can see general, do not disturb, airplane mode, cellular, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, text size, assess accessibility, Siri, sounds and haptics, passcode, SOS, and privacy. Then you can see all your apps down here and you can actually go into them and do what you want to do right there. So one of the new features that I saw that really interested me was when you go to general and software update. It'll actually check for an update and I believe you can install it on here. But when I went to install watchOS 6 beta 2, because that's the current one I need to download right now. Currently I'm on watchOS 6.0 and you can see it right here. And there is a, a lot new, you could customize the background app refresh in here. You can do customize it for any app you want. Wake screen, nightstand mode. You you have a lot more features from the iPhone settings put to the Apple Watch settings. So they added an accessibility right here, so it's easier to get to. I believe they did this in the iPhone one too. And you could do tactic time speed. If you want it slow, you can put it as slow as possible. And I personally like mine slow than it being fast, but the fast one feels good too. Either way, you guys can customize that. And there's a lot of new features in settings that you guys can go through, but I have to get to the other new features. So one of the biggest features is the Apple Watch App Store on the Apple Watch. And this is actually huge because now developers don't actually have to make an iPhone app when they want to make an Apple Watch app. So it'll take a little long to load, not that long. But once it loads in, you'll see a page like this right here. And wait, turned off. And this is what it looks like. You can scroll through it. And it's exactly like the Apple Watch app that used to be on the Apple Watch app but now it's on the Apple Watch. So you can even check your account on here and click see all, but one of the best features is searching. You can search for anything. You can even use dictation scribble. And I like how when you click on something, you can actually look at it and then you can click the download button and it'll tell you the ratings for it. It'll show you pictures for it, which is really nice actually. And remember, this is only the first beta. So, there is a lot in the Apple Watch app store. So that's one of the apps that Apple actually added. And there's a lot more. There is Calculator. And they did redesign the Now Playing app. And it's like this now. So it's really nice. There's a cycle tracking app that you can customize in your health if you guys want to do that. Now you can listen to audiobooks on your Apple Watch right here. 
and like say if you were going out and you wanted to listen to something with your cellular on your Apple Watch, you can actually do that now. And now there's voice memos on the Apple Watch, which is actually really nice because now you can actually tap to record voice memos and I believe it will sync with your iCloud so you can get it anywhere you want. And you can actually delete them on there too, right here. And then the whole new redesigned reminders that. So something I really hated before was that you couldn't add reminders on your Apple Watch. Now you can add a reminder by dictation, scribble, emojis. So, and it's really nice how they redesigned it and made it like this bubbly type of thing. And you can click on each one of them and all the sections are there. So those are some redesigned apps on the Apple Watch. So Apple released six new Apple Watch faces for the Apple Watch, but I can only get two of them because I'm using an Apple Watch Series 3, not 4. And when you swipe to go here, you'll see one called Numerals Duo and Numerals Mono. So those are the two like you could get on lower than the Apple Watch Series 4. I believe it's because the screen's not big enough, but I think Apple could have customized it and made it better to fit the Apple Watch Series 3 and below. So these are two new watch faces, but if you have a Series 4, you'll see watch faces looking like this. Another new feature that I saw is the trending section underneath Dictation and Scribble in the search section for the Apple Watch and there is a lot being searched right now but there is a sound app and I wanted to know it does the Series 3 Apple Watch support it because it didn't automatically come on my Apple Watch when I downloaded Watch OS 6 so I wanted to go to Dictation and let me just wait for it to sound so something that was really annoying that I saw was that I had to actually download the noise app from the Apple Watch App Store but when I clicked get I waited for it and it said this right here Apple Watch passcode required a passcode is required to download and buy apps when I click turn passcode on it just brought me to settings and I had no idea what to do from there and yes, I do have a passcode enabled on my Apple Watch, a four digit passcode, but I'm not sure what it's saying. I hope that's not a bug, and if it is, Apple might fix it in a later update. So I wanted to stop right here and say, if you guys aren't subscribed and you guys want more news about Apple, their new betas, their updates, new features on their updates and everything else like that please like the video and subscribe down below right now and turn the notification bell on if you guys want to know when the new updates come out because i will be making videos on them this summer so here's one of the activity that i missed when you force touch right here on the first screen first one right there there is a new change move goal icon right there and if you guys want to change that, you can just change it like that and click update and that's it. So here's another one of my favorite ones. It is when you pull down for a notification, you'll feel a tactic or a haptic touch when you pull, hold and pull down and then pull up like that. You should feel a haptic right here. And if you guys want to customize the haptics, you can do that in accessibility under the Apple Watch settings right here, just like this. Because sometimes people like their haptic touches to be long or short. Either way, you can customize that to your liking right here. So you can make it slow if you put it all the way to the left. And I personally like it slower than fast so this is a pretty nice feature that Apple implemented into their watch OS so here we're beginning to get close to the end of the video and there are a few features 
that I might have missed and I want you guys to comment them down below and like the video and subscribe but comment if I missed any of them and if you guys really want to help out my channel just click the subscribe button it's free and it's very easy and it really helps me out so if you guys like these features in watchOS 6 and you found some new ones please like the video and my personal opinion on watchOS 6 was that we got a few apps and a few new watch faces and a few minor features but the big updates were iOS 13 and iPadOS 13 which you guys can see that right now it'll be in the card right up there so I think that watchOS could have had more bigger features than the minor changes but the minor changes did make the Apple Watch a lot cleaner so if you guys liked the video and you guys found a new feature you guys liked please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and for the latest updates click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey, hey.